All right, welcome to That's a Bet Podcast, where we talk about the intersection of barbering, entrepreneurship, and technology. In today's video, we're going to talk about a little bit of new technology. I always love to discover these new technologies to see where society and the world is going. And I don't know about this one. Would you guys take a, a balloon up into space? That's what one company is doing. We're going to check them out and see what is in the future for us as they create ways to commercially get people up in the space to actually see the curvature of the earth. That's pretty high. I don't know if I would do it yet. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are tapping in with this. Uh, it's always good to see new technology. Without any further ado, let's go. So we're standing in front of a mock-up of our space tourism capsule. The capsule itself is designed to, uh, to carry eight customers and two crew uh, into the stratosphere. The actual capsules, inside of the capsule, there will be a center bar where people can gather. And then, of course, hey, the, the interior, that was nice. That looked like one of them new, the new, uh, new trucks that I do, one of them new EV trucks that I've been seeing riding around here. That was, that was, they did a good job designing the interior on that. There will be a bathroom aboard uh, the capsule, considering that these are going to be six hour long flights. Six Ryan hours. Ryan Hartman is the CEO of Worldview. The Tucson, Arizona based company was founded in 2012 and is one of a number of startups hoping to hoist tourists to the stratosphere using pressurized capsules and massive gas filled balloons. Since its inception, the company has raised around $100 million. We have about 100 employees here. One of the key would, would you would you guys invest in the company that was doing this? Let me know in the comments. And uh, as as we go through these videos of discovering new technology, I'm always keeping an eye out for new investments that I might be able to participate in. You know, it's always good to get in on the beginning versus when it's too late and everybody else has gotten to it. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel stay in tune with the content because we're gonna figure this this out together let me know in the comments if you guys would invest in a company like this features of our headquarters is the balloon farm which is where we're at uh, right now where we manufacture all of our balloons the largest balloon that we manufacture is for our space tourism business it's about 600 feet long which is the length of this entire table Worldview says that when fully inflated, its tourism balloons will be big enough to fit an entire football stadium on the inside and be able to lift over 10,000 pounds. Wow. But Worldview That's is not crazy. the only company working on this technology. Founded in 2019 in Florida, Space Perspective has raised around $80 million to date and recently revealed the design of its spaceship Neptune capsule. Spaceship Neptune is going up to 100,000. I, I wonder what stops those balloons from busting when they get up there. And if it does bust, is it going to be a slow leak? Is it going to be fast leak? How far, how fast is the descent going to be? That's, that's, and you know, every time they try to discover some new technology on this type of level, it's always some people that don't make it in the beginning, unfortunately. And so I'm not trying to be one of those people. I need, I need, I need this to be around for 10 years before I try to do it. Thousand feet, approximately 20 miles above the earth where you can see that curvature of the earth. You'll be able to see roughly 450 miles in every direction. She said that you're going to be able to see the curvature of the earth. Now, you know who I want to say something to right now. All the people that saying the flat earth. She's saying you're going to be able to see the curvature of the earth. Like that's the flat earthers people. Number one argument is that they don't see any curvature of the earth. If they if they pull this off. And you can see the curvature of the earth, man, that might, that might, that might make, or do you think that they're never going to be able to pull it off? Do you think that it's a firmament over the planet and they, to where they can't get that high? Or do you think the balloon is going to crash into the firmament? This is going to be interesting. That's why I love covering this, uh, covering technology. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big science fiction and I like, I like conspiracy too. So I'm always here for it. In Europe, France-based Zafalto has raised around $21.7 million since the company's founding in 2016. We'll show the overview effect, the very fact to see the Earth from above, from the darkness of space, to see the curvature of the Earth in its blue halo, and that's something very moving. Recent polls show that only 35% of Americans say they would be interested in traveling on a private spacecraft to orbit Earth. 
For the remaining 65% of people, there could be another option. Traveling to the stratosphere. <laughs> they said, no, I'm not ready yet. They said only 35% of people are... I can't believe it's that high. 35% of people. I wonder what culture is saying I would do this. Because me personally, no. Uh-uh. I had to take uh I had to take the, the 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 motion sickness pills to go up and all that just so I I, I can keep everything down man this is crazy this is interesting though to the fact that we working on commercial space travel that's very interesting it's a brand new market to learn more about this emerging market CNBC spoke to three companies about their vision and progress towards making stratospheric balloon tourism a reality that, that looked nice. Crazy. Commercial space flight is becoming more and more common, with companies including SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic all having flown paying customers into space over the last several years. But unlike SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic, these stratospheric now, balloon companies will not take passage. You guys, you guys know what's interesting is that I think this is the first time that we've seen the commercial industry come into the space industry versus in the past where it's, it's been just the government and it appears that when the commercial industry is able to tap into that market they're able to make it grow faster or make the technology um, grow faster than when the government alone is the one that's doing all the technology or is allowed to do something. You know, when Elon Musk came along, he invented the reusable rocket, it seemed like overnight. And the US government had been using the same type of rocket for years, for decades. You know, once you use one rocket, you can't use it anymore. This, this guy, Elon, he came along and said, I'm going to send a rocket up and then I'm going to bring it back down and, and watch it land back down on the ground. And he did that seem like almost overnight. So and then you got, you know, Jeff Bezos and you got people commercially competing to get into space and to create different experiences for customers. So from that perspective, I like the idea of the commercial industry exploring with space. And, you know, now we have to talk about regulations and, and different things like that. But if I if I had to vote on this particular issue, you know, whether it should be left in the hands of the government or it should be open to commercial, you know, companies, I, I think I will vote for the commercial companies. It seems like our technology moves along um, quite a bit faster when the commercial industry is tapped into that market. So that's something that I'm noticing from watching what's going on in the uh, in the world of space travel. ...all the way into space, the start of which is generally accepted by the U.S. government to be around 80 kilometers, or around 50 miles, above the Earth's surface. Instead, most of these balloons will reach heights of about 15 to 19 miles above the Earth's surface, flying in an area... So I guess if the flat earthers was watching this right now, they would look at the, the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and then the car main line as the top of the firmament. That's probably what flat earthers would say is that they would say the car main line is where the firmament is at. And you can't get past that. That's where the glass firmament is. That's what that's what I'm just thinking that they would say. Known as the stratosphere. For reference, this is still nearly three times higher than the altitude at which most commercial flights travel. We asked the companies about this detail. There were people that argued that worldviews marketing as an, a space experience is sort of misleading. What do you say to those, those people? Well, our experiences around viewing our Earth and experiencing the darkness of space. And at 100,000 feet, people are going to be able to see the termination line where night is turning into day or uh, day is turning into night and see that moving 
across the surface of the earth. They're going to be able to see uh, weather forming and moving. You know, they're going to see an organic earth. They're going to see a living earth. You know, and that's what's most important to us. There is no universal definition of space. We are regulated as a spaceship. If we go over 98,000 feet, we are a spaceship. Outside the capsule, it's essentially a vacuum. We're above 99% of Earth's atmosphere, which is why the sky is so deep black. For now, these experiences are hypothetical. All the stratospheric balloon companies we spoke to are still developing and testing their systems. Only Zafalto has performed any crude tests so far, though not at the company's target altitude of about 15 miles above the Earth's surface. The first flight with uh, the first prototype took place in 2018. Now it's the fifth generation and uh, uh, we'll fly at 25 kilometers before the summer. We have approximately 10 uncrewed test flights to do uh, before we start flying uh, with people. Space perspective and worldview would not give CNBC an example. I don't know. Those first few people, I would not want to be the test dummies for that. So that's going to be crazy, man. Let me let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this new technology that's come out for space travel. If you guys will participate in it, I might need to do a poll on uh, our channel for this. They said 35 percent of people said that they're ready to go up in space right now. I am definitely not one of those 35% of people. So if this video resonated with you and you like hearing more about technology, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button on the way out. I'll make sure that I put the uh, link to our mastermind community so that you can access our communities and clubs. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.